Nearly four months after ADF rebels attacked Lubiriha Secondary School in Mpondwe Kasese district, killing more than 40 people, another ambush on Friday resulted in the death of two people. The truck, loaded with onions, was traveling from Kisoro district to Mpondwe Lubiriha market. At Katholu One village, the group, suspected to be ADF rebels, stopped the vehicle and killed the driver before they set it on fire. Likely, the five. But this time are not going to survive because we are following them very closely. The community should remain vigilant as they have been. The body of Clarice Nsokera was buried in Yakahia, one central cell in Mpondwe, Lubidiha Town Council. And I want to tell you, security is still tight, but all we need is to make sure these porous borders, the points, the weak points where these people are passing, we seal them. How are we going to seal them to become more vigilant? And to ensure that the collaborators, if they are there, we need to bring them to book. It doesn't mean that the security personnel were not alert. But this is just like a thief. When a thief comes to your home, you will not know which direction and you will not know when he's coming. That whenever you see somebody whom you don't understand, who is not a resident there and you, you doubt him or her, can you tell leaders? Because us as leaders, Fetubera open, we don't, we don't hide, we, we don't fear. Bukonzo West Member of Parliament Atkins Godfrey Katusabe asked the District Security Committee to explain why the attacks are continuing. We need all of our capabilities, uh, offensive capabilities, defensive capabilities, sustainable sustainability, and also our intelligence capabilities. All of those capabilities that we have in the store have got to be launched, activated, so that we have to deal with this. Because the way I look at where the attack was, the ambush was, and the proximity to the army, it means the enemy may not even be in the national park. The enemy might be just within the houses, the, 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 the settlements. So what we need now is the Wanainji should be more vigilant. And there must be a lot of collaboration nearby. Uh, these attacks on people uh, have a big impact on the trade for this place. They have a, an impact on the lifestyles of people. For example, there are businesses that run at night. We have nightclubs, we have people who invest in entertainment. Now it's extremely difficult for people to move at night.